seems like. Can I make that any smaller? No. Okay. I was like way up here. What's up, everybody? Uh, just thought I'd check in. Got a much better view than you guys probably have. Just saying. Um, say hi. Oh, hi. We're at the grocery store. We are. We're at Walmart getting what are groceries. We doing? I don't know. We're saying hi to all of our wonderful YouTubers. This, oh, this is YouTube? Yeah. Hi, YouTube. Hi. Well, wait, which YouTube? Mine. This one? Yes, Poindexter okay. Lounge. <laughs> Poindexter Lounge. What's up, what everybody? kind of chips should we buy, YouTube? Hmm. Hmm. What type of chips? Hmm. There are tons of chips. What type should we get? What kind should we get? Tell us now. Sun chips, harvest cheddar. Ooh, sun chips, harvest cheddar is a can good. Get a bag of those. What's up, Blake? I'm backish. What's up? Backish. I'm right. I'm still planning the entire uh, uh, full on come back as it were i've just had to get uh some stuff you know uh you know checked out or whatever uh you know, i'm off to bed you know why didn't why didn't triton's message come through why is, uh hold on a second triton i don't know why it uh That's weird. Triton, I don't know why your message got put into hell. I don't know. It's not letting me do anything. Sour cream and onion chips. That does sound good. Yeah. Sour cream and onion chips sound good, too. Oh, my gosh. There's only two. Uh, probably you. Here. Right here. And I knew, knew that. Hey, what's up, Anchorman? Yay. Oh, Triton, I don't know what's going on, man. Triton, I don't know what happened to your... Sour cream and onion. Nice. That's what we're getting. We're getting sour cream and onion now. Okey-dokey. Thank you, Blake. Scoops. What's up, Toronto Freddy? These. Guess whose favorite these are. We got a whole bag of those at home. You know that, don't you? We just opened them. Did we? So I'm going to get another one. That's right, because somebody left the other ones out. I don't want to come to Walmart again in two days when we're out of them. No? Well, no. but somebody left the other bag of Tostitos scoops out and they got kind of stale. Yeah, that was me. That's why I yes. am buying a bag of chips. That's why she's buying a bag of chips. Because she, she staled the other ones. <laughs> What's up, Luke? What's going on, man? How you doing, buddy? Would you eat? Would I eat what? Do you want any of those? Or... Would I eat any of these Instead of i mean i would eat them the no i would eat them but the thing is is honestly alternative. honestly for the price of this like i could okay i wouldn't eat the small ones i just get big ones oh yeah where like yeah i wouldn't eat them all the time like that like beef jerky i'd rather have beef jerky okay, honestly do you want meat sticks for the cupboard no i'd rather have some peppered beef jerky that's what i'd rather have do you want the zero sugar is there sugar? No, this is no, where we, no, they no. Were gross, they? they were they were nasty. Okay. That was nasty. <laughs> yes, that, I'm sorry. Great value. You're gonna have to step up your game because this was disgusting. <laughs> uh, this was this was nastier than my okay. soon to be ex wife's get boyfriend. The, um, what? Get the <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I mean, this zero sugar was on its last leg. It was gonna have to have an egg lamp. An egg lamputated. <laughs> he was going to have to have an egg lamputated. But fortunately, Tiff Tastic was there to make sure he got all of his injections. Did I say that loud? Whoops, who? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that's right. It's now, what was it? Oh, Tiff, uh, Tiff Terrible. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and uh, that's from me. Ina should meet Cleveland Brown R2-D2. I would love to meet Cleveland Brown R2-D2 because Cleveland Brown R2-D2 was pretty darn funny. I need to come back to stream because I need to be able to re-enjoy things again, you know? Um, it's, Are there, is there zero sugar blue ones? 
I don't know that there are. I don't know that there are. Um, does he want the... No. Well, yeah, there are. There's those ones. Okay. So that way yeah. you can both see. Okay. Well, I don't like the blue ones, so... Oh, well, yeah. Get yeah, so... So just get him the regulars, and I mean, get him. I've what? What are those? What is that flavor, anyways? Glacier free. I I could try one. I don't know. What's up? For, uh, yes, happy spooky season to you, Mr. Toronto Freddy. Uh, sun chips or Lay's are supreme in sour cream and onion flavor. Wait a second. Oh, are you saying Lay's are supreme in sour cream and onion flavor? I agree with that, Blake. I thought you were saying that there is a sour cream and onion sun chip because if there was a sour cream and onion sun chip i'd be all over that i'm just saying i'd be all over that um let's see uh, what else tired but okay i missed you my dude oh thanks La uh, laser luke uh some snacks are good but the price wasn't worth it because i because i because i'm always down for some spicy stuff are you down for some spicy stuff only if we're gonna get weird. She hasn't been around the channel for too long. She did, she she hasn't experienced yet our weirdness on live stream. Um, oh, you know what? I'm gonna grab a Red Bull because that's what I need to do. I need to grab some Red Bull. Uh, uh, text glitching. What's up, CJH? You're in a play? That's awesome, Anchorman. What's up, RJ? So, yes, when I when I eat nachos, I usually get those Tostitos uh, chips because, you know, they dip and stuff. And I put um, either I'll make my own chili. That's the best when you make your own chili. And then you just, you know, put cheese in there and all your stuff and, and dip it with those scoop chips. But, I mean, like, if you're, if you're just trying to make a quick nachos uh the hormel chili is really good too i mean it's you know it's chili in a can but it, it'll work um i will cjh i am uh uh i'm looking forward to returning it's just it's just taking me some time man and be, be in a healthy spot and honestly honestly you know coming back i don't want every stream to just end up being about talking about tiffany you know, um, she's made her choices. She's done her thing. And so I know a lot of people have questions and I know a lot of people have, you know, thoughts on the whole thing, but you know, so I'm just trying to get healthy, trying to get mentally prepared for what I need to do and, uh, you know, and do that. So that makes sense. Oh my gosh. Uh, you know, I should meet the wizard. <laughs> That's funny. I'm thinking of the French dip sun chips. Mm -hmm. Works as a sour cream and onion scenario. Nice. Oh, only we get weird. Okay, fair enough. Now it's a challenge. Spicy food. Here we go. Yeah, I could get, uh, what's up, Jimmy? Radlinski, what's going on? Thank you, man. I'm so glad. Thank you so much for saying that. I really appreciate that. Um, RJ, RJ says, you know, I hope you come back to casually streaming as soon as you can. Your voice is deeply missed in the community. Thank you, man. That means a lot to me. Uh, wow, there's a bunch of noise here. I'm just moving some racks. Uh, you do you, Enosh. That thing is loud. Uh, you do you, Enosh. My three bucks a month will be worth it once you're back. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate all of you guys like that. You're in a Christmas Carol play. Nice. I'm ready for the FNAF movie at the end of the month. So, uh, if RJ's still here, uh, I'm missing Ash's humor, like the Cadence Mom moment with the wrestlers. <laughs> Quality content. Nice. Um, so, I will say this to you guys. You know, I have I've had a really hard time uh, looking at movie talk recently, I've seen people just griping and complaining over so much. And like, you know, when I was in it before with all of you, you know, we were doing it, you know, on a, on a regular basis and everything, uh, you know, super passionate about it, super whatever. But 
I'm seeing people just gripe about stuff just to gripe about stuff. I mean, the people who hate, or I'm, I'm not even gonna say hate, people who just don't like uh, Zack Snyder's uh, stuff, they're over the edge now. And then the people who love Zack Snyder, they're over the edge. There's a bunch of crazy people running around, like with the craziest notions and thoughts and ideas. And I'm sorry, look, these people are Hollywood people that y'all don't know, you know? Uh, and even if, even if you've gotten the opportunity to meet some, you don't know them, you know? And I just, I, I find it, I find this whole, uh, this whole James Gunn thing, I'm just tired of hearing people complain about James Gunn when he hasn't even done anything. And they're all, oh, he messed around with these movies or that movie. You don't know what he did. Everything is speculation, man. When I see these tweets and I see these Facebook pages just going on about stuff like it's true and you don't know it. Um, Argo says, Enosh, did you see the big variety article? Yep. Uh, yeah, I saw that, uh, et cetera. Yeah, I saw that. That was weird, huh? Like, if he was, but if he was, if he was showing up on set dressed, like, uh, like, what's his name? That's weird. I don't know. That whole thing is weird. The, the, the whole Amber Heard thing. I, I, you all know I have no, uh, I have, I have no desire in that thing. Max no longer wears his mask now. It's crazy. I know. I, you guys gotta, can somebody send me the link to the video where he finally unmasked himself? Cause I didn't see it. I didn't see it. And I was thinking about that the other day cause I saw that he's unmasked now. And I, I totally missed that. I totally missed that. That sucks. Uh, Star Wars has been the best it's ever been in years, in my opinion. Star Wars is doing really, really great right now. Um, yeah, I saw that apparently Elon Musk threatened Warner Brother to keep Amber Heard as Mira. And I, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, there's no middle ground or nuance anymore. No, there's not. Everybody is just so against each other everybody's just like drawing these lines and just so angry and upset and bitter and i i don't know it's it's really sad i think i mean there's been a lot of things that i've i've thought about commenting on like twitter posts that i've thought about commenting on uh about various things about star wars or about uh, we movie talk now more than ever because the real world is so violent and angry right now Oh, we just need some sane people anymore, man, to talk about stuff, if you're going to talk about stuff. But, you know, there's a lot in the world that's not sane anymore. We're going to go we all... posters. Can you lead the way? I can lead the way to posters. Yay. Do you like the idea Bye. of Momoa becoming... Oh, if you wanted to. ...of Momoa becoming Lobo and sticking around? Um, I don't know, RJ. I don't know if I like that idea or not. Um, cause I think it's just going to confuse people. I, you know, I love Jason Momoa. Don't get me wrong. I love Jason Momoa. And actually he looks great for the part of Lobo. If they throw him in that Superman movie though, uh, if they throw him in that Superman legacy movie, people are just going to be like, what? What's all that about? Shayna, RJ, What are you hi. talking about? I'm talking about... Hi, RJ. Today it came out that Jason Momoa might be cast in the new Superman movie, oh. but as Lobo, not as Aquaman. That none of the Justice League people are coming back. Uh, and even that Jason Momoa dressed up as Johnny Depp because he, he wanted Amber Heard fired from Aquaman 2. That all came out in Variety today. Uh -huh. And, like, it's really weird. And even Elon Musk apparently threatened Warner Brothers somehow to not fire her. So, I don't know. What? It's so weird. It's such a weird story. But, uh, but yeah, we were just talking about that because RJ asked me how I felt about him being recast as Lobo. Mm. And I said, well, I love him. I love him. I love the oh, way... Did we pass him? Oh yeah, the posters are over here. Sorry. Head, you know what? There's more posters over here too. So. Oh yeah. Oh headphones. Gotcha. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I just don't know how I feel about that because I think that he would be good in the role. I think that he would look the part. But again, like it's it's all of this reboot stuff. You know, what's up, Tony? Tony Izzo. Uh, let's see. You know, she fought hard in the Battle of Warner Brothers. Yes, I did. 
Uh, I do think it's weird that they told Gal Gadot that she could stay, but now they don't want to use her. Yeah. So the best thing that they could do is just continue the DCEU as is in the new timeline or alternatively continue with the Batman universe and branch out. I don't know, man. They just need to reboot the whole thing at this point. Seriously, I, I know that nobody wants to hear that and everybody's, you know, I, I know that my good friend William doesn't like hearing that. But let's be honest, if, if they're going to get rid of all of these, you know, characters that we love, or at least the people playing them in the way that they've been played and all the stories, okay, fine. That's fine. I can handle that we had this other 10 years of, you know, that. But to, to just try to come back with, uh, you know, something else, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't get it. I don't get it, and I think it's just, at this point, it's pointless. No new toys over here. Tell me if you think this looks like Ben Affleck's mask. <laughs> this mask is ridiculous. This does not look like Ben Affleck's mask. Love that. Then gotta love the one that's right next to it. Whoops. There's the Michael Keaton Batman mask. <laughs> Limited edition. Handcrafted from sculpture to finish. Individually painted, even. Made with kaolin clay. There you go. Oh, uh, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, dollar Store Ben Affleck. Uh, what's up, Jared? Hey, Enosh. How you been? I've been good, man. Um, yeah, I've been I've been good. I'm, I'm doing better every day. Uh, Blue Beetle was great, too, and I hope that's part of the reboot. I saw Blue Beetle, and I really enjoyed Blue Beetle, so... I know there's people who just want to hate Blue Beetle just to hate Blue Beetle. I also really enjoyed The Flash. Is it the greatest movie ever made? No. Did I enjoy it? Yes. Is there anything wrong with it that it's like it should stand out as being this horrible film that everybody wants to mock now? No. No. Uh, uh, toy shopping. Yes. Yes, Daniel Martin. How you doing, man? What's going on, Daniel? What's up, Lewis? Oh, my. Hey, Enosh. Point of Nice to see you. I liked Blue Beetle. I did, too. Uh, Marvel also needs to come back and hoping Deadpool 3 gives him that. Thank you, Jared. You know, people are commenting on my beard, Shana. It's a nice beard. People, people are commenting on my beard. My friend, my friend Jared just commented. Very nice beard. Mm -hmm. I love the beard. <laughs> yes, um, I decided I was going to grow my beard out a little bit. She has chosen, I'm very proud, the blue beetle poster. She, she chose a blue beetle poster? Mm -hmm. Really? Above all the other options, Super Mario, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Barbie. Nope, she wants blue beetle. Hmm. And it's kind of a cool one. This one. Oh, it is. Oh, that's so, cool. Yeah. Well, very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool mm -hmm. indeed. Very well groomed, Enosh. Well, cool. I've been using all kinds of uh, <laughs> of uh, beard stuff on it, like con beard conditioners and what else? I, what else did I put on? Serum. Serum, and I got like this brush. And lotion. And, it's like beard lotion. Yeah. This is probably the thickest my beard has ever been. Ever. Beard bros. Jared's my, my beard bro. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, Kevin O'Dogger, if Walmart doesn't have it, you don't need it. That's true, too. I'm, uh... Yes, we saw Barbie opening night. Ready to check out, but I but love no Barbie. Hurry, so we still have, like, a half an hour. The beard life did choose me all of a sudden. I think that's the thing. You go through a divorce, and you gotta grow a beard. Enosh looking like a Chad. Nice, bro. Nice. Do I do I look like a Chad? No. Mm -hmm. Not yet. It's not long enough to be Chad like. And you no longer look like you're going through a divorce either. No. <laughs> I, I do do I, do I look uh, more? I don't know. Together. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm faking it really, really well. That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. 
That's what we do. That's what we do. We're professionals. Yes, we are. Mm. Oh. <laughs> you guys just a geeky Chad. <laughs> the beard gives you the power. Yes. That's funny. Anything else you want to look at? Uh, I don't know. I already looked at the toys. Oh, you know, I can show them what I did find here because I found one thing. Sure. found one thing. My Batmobile collection will be growing like a stoic alpha male. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I needed that. I needed that. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. So I'm looking for Robin still. Can't, I haven't found Robin. Viking Enosh snagged a better mate. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, look at her. My, my friend Zeno just said Viking Enosh snagged a better mate. I got some Maleficent. Ooh. Maleficent's dragon. Wow, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I don't like you can get See, see it? it? Yeah, welcome oh. to my world. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Boxes are meant to be opened. Yeah, not in the store, though. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's, I don't like that. Does it come with the bridge? What? Found these that I was for my the chat yeah, approves. The chat. What? <laughs> Super. Viking Enosh you know, snagged a better mate. I will tell you this. I, uh, Shayna is amazing. Shayna really is amazing. And, you know, look, it's, it's life, right? You know, relationships come, relationships go. Uh, it sucks. It sucks. But, you know, my boys are still around. And that's what counts. Isaac is with me. Uh, me and Landon are still together. And, uh, you know, Logan, unfortunately, uh, I mean, he's still, he's still with us as far as, as far as all that. I still talk to him and I love him. And, uh, as far as I'm concerned, he's my son. And so is Isaac. And of course, Landon is, um, ooh, Lewis says he likes your hair. Thanks, Lewis. Something tells me both of you <laughs> are buying PS5 or Xbox one. Hmm. I don't know about that. Send us some money. I'll buy an Xbox One. <laughs> <laughs> We've got an Xbox One at home. I already got the Xbox One at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, onwards and upwards. That's right, Zeno. Onwards and upwards. Fresh start. Uh, Lewis says, I approve. The <laughs> chat approves. What did you think of Ahsoka and that new stormtrooper called Enoch? Um, okay, so a couple of things. I have had... Oh, she, he says the red is nice. Thanks. See? I didn't need say it wasn't nice. Of, need to keep a little bit of red in there. I didn't say it wasn't just nice. Just enough. I didn't say it wasn't nice. I just, well, see, we got this deal because I'm not like, I'm not the <laughs> you camping take, type. You want to take the deal to the, to the world? Yes, yes, yes. Come First on of all, this is how I feel about Ahsoka. Look at that. She's my girl. Uh, there you go. Um, no, so we got this deal between us because, uh, she likes to go camping because i like camping and you're a city boy i am i am and so uh, we kind of got this deal <laughs> i kind of joked with her because i thought it would kind of get me out of uh of having to go camping so i said well i don't know like you know i really like because she's like i really like uh, camping and i'm like and i really like platinum blondes and so we kind of got this deal that she's going to try she's gonna try her hair it and that's just because i i love platinum blondes once I just, no i'm just kidding <laughs> once and i will go camping then once <laughs> so don't buy too much gear um no uh so we we have fun we have fun uh okay so ahsoka as far as ahsoka goes J J look at jared like talking about your uh your glasses Aww. and things like your hair matches your glasses. Thank you. Okay, so. And so does the backpack. <laughs> so Ahsoka was amazing. I loved Ahsoka. Uh, if I hear one more person complain and say, I don't understand it because I didn't watch Rebels, then go back and freaking watch Rebels. Watch then. Rebels then. You have a choice. Like, if you don't want to watch Rebels, don't watch Rebels. Mm -hmm. But then don't sit and complain because you don't understand something that was literally a live action sequel mm -hmm. to the original cartoon. Right? Well, I would bring some Bigfoot repellent, buddy, but you know, my big feet, my size, okay, we already got a big foot my size 15, whoop. Oh, you messed it up. Did I mess it up? My size 15. There. Um, I do anyway. like to brag about that. I do. <laughs> um, Ezra looks great. 
Um, I actually really like Sabine. Uh, I'm suspicious about their laid back attitudes towards each other, though. Like, I don't know. I would be like, if I was Sabine and I finally found Ezra after searching all that time and never giving up, I would be elated. I wouldn't be just like, yo. Yeah. What's up? No, you're right. You're right. I yeah, because I'd be the same way. I would mm-hmm. like, well, because we both mentioned that if you see somebody like you like, well, even when Ahsoka sees him, she even gets a little more excited then. Yeah, but even them, they just kind of look at each other and they're like, "Hey, what's up?" Like, run to each other, you know, like <laughs> hug something. Um, it's because we're romantics. I guess so. <laughs> but no, all all of oh, I, if Ezra meets Luke, dude. That'd be cool. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, what I'm tired of seeing is, like, I, I get it. Everybody's got their theories and stuff like that, but we really don't know what's going to happen. I mean, look, we went back and watched the episodes of The Ones mm-hmm. uh, with the father and the sister and the brother, and they could do anything with that now and go anywhere with that. It is it is a shame that uh, what's-his-name passed away, mm. uh, so he won't be able to continue his bailing. But uh, it'll be interesting to see what they do that do with that. Uh, my only critiques of the show were small ones. I, I did kind of have a small little critique of Thrawn <laughs> because I I think that that although Mads Mikkelsen's voice is great for Thrawn, uh, he didn't look like Thrawn. I, the the hair piece the hair, was weird. Yeah. And the fact that he was so overweight, look, and I can't say much because I'm, I'm a big guy myself, but still yet, like, I'm probably not going to play Thrawn. Well, even though with his makeup, they could have, like, chiseled his cheek line yeah. to, like, match the cartoon a little more because he was, like, long and lean. He was long and thin. could have done something. You know, like, they could have done something. But it just, but still yet, even so, I was glad that by the end of the show, they had Thrawn back to being Thrawn like mm-hmm, because, because I noticed like at the beginning Thrawn right Daniel Thrawn mm-hmm. didn't sound very imposing at the beginning and like he was he just sounded like your run of the mill bad guy right like you know and that's not Thrawn Thrawn is meticulous and he, like I was really hoping that they'd bring out some art and that he would like be studying their art and everything you know because that would have been awesome but yeah, there's just so much going on in Ahsoka. I mean, you got Night Sisters and like this whole new thing that they come from. You know, uh, was it Peridia, uh, the planet? I think, I think it's Peridia. Um, but uh, oh, Ray Stevenson. Yeah, yeah, Ray Stevenson. But like, so now we know that the Night Sisters come from Peridia, and they probably went to Dathomir, Dathomir, where you know the Zabrax were the probably the the natural habitants of that planet. And then, you know, you got the whole idea of them, you know, in another galaxy and all that stuff. But, you know, but that means the the Night Sisters were from another galaxy. And then on top of that, you got the father and the brother statues on Peridia. So, I mean, there's just so much there. Like I said, I... Please, just stop complaining. Star Wars is amazing. I don't understand. Like, there's a, they didn't wrap everything up. Well, of course they didn't because they're going to literally do a full-on movie. So why would you wrap up all your story? It was, the Ahsoka series was setting up. This Shana is, is getting, Shana Enosh is getting rant used to live. rant. Enosh. I love it. Usually we miss it and he just goes off on a rant and I'm the only one that gets to see it. Yes. So I'm just saying... Why would you complain about everything not getting wrapped up when it's literally not supposed to be wrapped up? You're setting up for these greater things. I think they may recast Ray, Jared. Uh, either that or change him. Like, whatever he's going... If, if it is... Uh, uh, what's, what's, what's the mother's name? Is it... Uh, Oh gosh, was it Ath- Atha something? I can't think of it right now. I know it, but I can't think of it right now. Um, what everybody thinks is the uh, what everybody thinks is who Balin is looking for. Um, Abeloth. Thank you, Scotty. Thank you, Scotty. Yes. Yes. Hey Tom, I saw her last Saturday, buddy. Uh, not. 
<laughs> oh, Tom, oh, Tom, I'd look at myself in the mirror. What's going on? Oh, oh, we got Tom in the chat. Oh, hey, Tom. What's up, Tom? He's all ha, ha, ha. He's laughing at jokes nobody even knows. And he says, I won. And I told him, I said, well, I saw her last week. I, uh, I... Consolation prize, maybe. Uh, they might do a time No, no, well, I don't know. Ooh, CJH, what if they used Balin instead of Saboth? That'd be cool. What's up, Kingdom of Nerds? Good to see you. Uh, let's see. Just do that. Okay, like, <laughs> like his face gets injured or something and he has to wear a helmet. Maybe. Uh, the recast of Skywalker for Dave Filoni's Star Wars movie. Luke, you know what? At some point, I would have said no, but I am, uh, I'm down with that, actually. I'm down with that. <laughs> yeah. You poor things. You, you know, you know what, Shayna? Yeah. I look at the internet. Mm. And I, I, I laugh because, you know, there are people who have nothing better to do than care about me. Mm-hmm. And yeah. you're one of them. But you're I here. Do. But you're here. And that's what's important. So, thanks, Tom. Appreciate you. Uh, that's the thing. I'm not familiar with names like Abeloth. Yeah, and the lore that, if I understand the story... It doesn't matter. Okay, now let's go. Uh, Filoni has a lot of support, including me. Did we get everything? Yeah. Do you, right. Yeah, unless you can think of anything else you need, but I got frozen um, stuff, so. Ooh, ooh, you got more of those Reese's cookies? I yeah, love so I'll you. Of those. They have Reese's pieces in them. Yes, I know. Yes. Aren't those the ones we got last time? Yes. Oh, no, no. It's the pieces. Oh. Did you get enough for us? I just got one. Oh, then I'll go buy one then. Because well, I, I want some of that, too. Okay, we can swing back over there and get another one. All right, let's swing back well, over there. Well, I mean, there's... Yeah. You all eat a cookie or two, you know. It's true that. But. This is... Man, this Mando Star Wars movie is going to... It is going to be epic. I hope that they just do a trilogy. I, I, I hope that they do a trilogy. How many people are in the store? My anxiety for y'all. <laughs> I mean, there's not too many people in the store. You know? It's... A little later, so. Um, what's up, Scotty? What's up, Anthony Beltre? What's going on, Scotty? How you doing, man? Um, yeah. So, yeah, Abeloth, uh, new beard, who this? <laughs> oh, just wait until you see some of the tags that we got uh, uh, coming when we do show back up. It's pretty funny. Um, Abeloth is basically the mother. Yep, I believe she was originally human. Yes, but drank from the fountain of knowledge. Yes, or something and turned into a monster. So the family would have to every few thousand those prices, though. Oops, excuse me. No, you're good. What's up, Vince? Yeah, so uh, but you can always count on Scotty like Scotty's like the hidden producer of the show, right? Like always in the background. <laughs> I think Sam Whitmer will play the song. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. I can definitely see that. He's got that, he's got that look. He definitely has that, I mean, they've kind of based, I think they might have even based that look upon him. So. That's cool. What do we got? Uh, the thing about the Mando movie is, when they do it, they gotta do it before Tamara Morrison can't can't move anymore. Uh, got to include Boba and potentially Rex. Yes. Uh, a few thousand years, retrap her, but with them gone, they can't do it anymore. Yeah. Yo, who's? Yeah. So. Oh. You, you blowing kisses at me as you walk past? I did. Look, look at this girl blowing kisses at me. Mwah. Mwah. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, anyways, 
We got groceries now. Curtain lights. Ooh, we got curtain lights. Yeah. Some stuff for Scarlet's room. We got, we got a Batmobile. I got some peppered beef jerky and not that sugar-free crap. <laughs> um, we got some lint rollers, some headphones, some very, Gatorade. Very exciting trip to Walmart. Very exciting. A lot of junk, it looks like. A lot of junk. Uh, that's a quiet Walmart. Well, now we're walking up to the front. We were in the right. We weren't in the back. You guys think they'll ever bring back Mall? Um, I don't know, man. If they bring back Mall, I hope they bring back Ray Park. But you'd have to do it like for like Solo Two or something. You know, Mall Mall's gone at this point. So you know, at the Mando timeline at least. So I think we just kind of leave that there. But I'd love to see Mall come back live action. Heck yeah. Um. He does the voice, but they put the Utah uh, makeup on him. Gotta make it soon. Okay, guys, I gotta help bag up groceries with my dear Shayna. Right, Shayna? Yes, you do. We got groceries to box up, bag up, and do all this stuff. But see, here's what we were talking about right here. CJH? That's a good point. I think that Lando movie is going to be uh, solo too. And I think that's that's great. Pumpkin cookie dough with cream cheese flavored chunks. Who knew? Didn't even know you needed cream cheese flavored chunks in your life. Good seeing you, Enash and Shana. Thank you, Daniel. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the love from all of you guys uh, who have showed that. Yes, Reese's cookie dough. I never tried that. We just tried it last week, and it was amazing. And you can eat this one raw. I mean, of course, we know we all eat raw cookie dough anyways. But, you know, what are you gonna do? We miss you at MME. Come back soon. Okay, Kingdom of Nerds, I definitely will. I definitely will. Tell, tell uh, Max to send me a link. <laughs> all right? <laughs> and, uh, and I'll see what I can do to come are on. You helping, or are you just gonna stand in the way? <laughs> Just checking. This is why I love her. This is why I love her. I, I was waiting for you to fill that bag. See, uh -huh. I was waiting for the bag to be filled. Whoops, I was waiting for the bag to be filled. <laughs> it was not filled yet, my dear. I'll fill your bag. Wait, hold on. Did you say fill or feel? <laughs> Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I'm just great. Well, we get to watch all these movie shows as it is. Hey, 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 what? Oh, oh, now, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now you're upset because I took the bag before you, see? Oh, no, I'm well aware you're not paying attention at all. <laughs> sorry, not upset. Not upset. Put a smile. I just want to see Boba back again in live action. Me too. Uh... Phil, Phil, that's just awkward. Huh? CJH said, what? Phil, that's just awkward. Fill my bag. <laughs> Daniel says, don't threaten me with a good time. Okay, now you can remove the bag. Can I remove this bag now? <laughs> okay. I remove the bag, ladies and gentlemen. It is now moved. Oh my goodness. You see her little cute one pound of hamburger? It is that. for instructional purposes. Thank you very much. It's for instructional purposes with someone else. So teach someone else how to cook hamburger. The children are learning how to cook their own dinner. Yes, they are. Okay, well, I am going to let you guys go. Love you all. You guys are great. Bye, Shayna. Bye. See you later. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll see you later. Take it easy. Bye.